So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> The swearing in of Ohio's new governor has implications for all of the tri-state. And Governor DeWine wasted no time in talking about a thorn in the side of so many drivers, the Brent Spence Bridge. Nine on your side's Evan Millward was the only local TV reporter at the inauguration today getting local reaction. Hamilton County's GOP boss tells me Mike DeWine brings new hope for a new bridge. A little over optimistic, you can judge, but it was one of the first things the new governor brought up today. And Governor Bevan of Kentucky, thank you for being here. You and I have work to do. We have a little bridge that we need to build, right, Governor? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> Those laughs tell you everything you need to know about that little bridge project that's been a little pain in two state sides for decades. Matt Bevan has already acknowledged a willingness to work with DeWine more than he ever did with former Governor John Kasich. Hamilton County GOP Chairman Alex Trantafilo immediately noticed. His mentioning our bridge uh, right out of the gate was hugely important. What's more, Governor Bevan will be a guest of the Hamilton County Party in March. Is it a sign of cooperation to come? Trantafilo says DeWine is the game changer. You know, we see a real opportunity for Southwest Ohio with this governor. And that, as the new governor called for hope Monday. It is with that eye to the future and with great optimism that I will serve as your governor. We tried to track down Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin after the ceremony today, but couldn't get to him. A new chapter now opening in the Brent Spence Bridge saga. In Columbus, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.